happening today, the Oxford High School shooter is going to be heading to court looking to make a change in his guilty plea. Yeah, Nick Monticelli joining us live this morning. And Nick, Ethan Crumbly looking to withdraw that guilty plea. Yeah, and it's his appeal team that are putting forward a whole new set of evidence. And they even have witnesses that they want to bring forward to the judge to talk about that life without the possibility of parole sentence. Today's hearing for Ethan Crumbly's appeal will bring all the attorneys together, those handling the appeal and the Oakland County prosecutors. The shooter pled guilty to the murders of Oxford students Justin Schilling, Madison Baldwin, Hannah St. Juliana and Tate Meir, telling Oakland County Judge Kwame Rowe he understood what he was doing by pleading guilty and not going to trial. My actions were because of what I chose to do. But the appeal argues against his sentence of life without the possibility of parole, saying it's too harsh for a 15-year-old and does not take into account any chance of rehabilitation. His appeal lawyers want to discuss new evidence, saying they have seven witnesses who could have discussed Ethan's childhood struggles and his mother's alleged alcohol abuse during pregnancy. They also argue the new evidence sheds light on whether the shooter properly understood his plea and is asking the court to review the plea process. Even for people who commit serious crime, um, there's you know an, an, a full person that has yet to be um, revealed as an adult. And so that's really the point when we want to take a second look at that individual. So there's really a lack of um, ability to fully understand what you're saying when you do plead guilty as a child. Um, you know, there's no way a juvenile um, can understand sort of the full matrix of the criminal legal system. Now, of course, that is the appeals team. That's their thought process. You've got the prosecutors from Oakland County and the judge who felt differently. So we'll see how all this plays out. Today is a status conference. So, again, just an opportunity for the teams to get together and kind of see if things are on track moving forward. We don't expect any kind of decisions to happen today. We are live this morning. Nick Botticelli, Local 4.